Hello, this is going to be as quick as I can go on n equals 24 and I'm going to introduce the first presenter and so presenters in MVVM Cross are the way that views get put onto the screen so they are the way that the view model gets represented so the presenter interface and this is on every single platform is very simple um, and all we're really going to focus on is the first method here today which is to show a view model request so when you do a navigation in MVVM Cross and you ask to show a second view model, then this is where the call comes through. And generally in everything you've seen so far, that call will come through and just be put in a new page. And we're just going to show something different today. So let's uh, dive in and do some code. And so in particular, let's start a new project. Um, we'll start it in N plus one and this is N24. Um, and we're just going to start with iOS only. We'll do others in later things. And this is going to be called splitter.core. And what we'll do is we will create a portable class library. As ever, we're going to use our normal templates. Hopefully it's going to run up. We'll delete class one because we don't want it. We will add the new get packages. Add them in. And we'll add them in. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the first view model and we'll just add a couple of commands to it. So public i command. And what should we do? We'll, we'll have a blue command. Return new mvx command. And this is going to request to navigate to a second view model. And so this will be a blue view model. Obviously, this is a very artificial example. And then we'll also have a red command, and that will go to a red view model. So hopefully that's all OK. And then we just need to create those other two view models. So blue view model. And that's a view model with nothing in it. And we'll create another view model that is a red view model. With nothing in it. So that's our um, our core project. Hopefully we can build that. That's built. So now let's add some uh, a UI to it. And as I say, we're only going to do an iOS in this particular example. So normally we go to iPhone here, but actually this time we're going to go to Universal. And universal simply means that the app that we produce will run on a iPhone or an iPad. So let's do that. And so this one is going to be a splitter dot touch. Spelled splitter wrong. And we'll start that up. And obviously we need to add a reference to our core project. Done. And obviously we want to add our NuGet packages. So this again is MVVM cross NuGet. And so it's this package. So we download MVVM cross and the first thing we need to do is just copy this template across for our delegate. And then what we'd like to do is just alter our views a bit. So at the moment we've got this label, and we don't want a label, we'd like a UI button. Um, and let's create this UI button as a rounded rect. And so this is button one, B1. And we'll set the frame on B1 to be that. And we'd also like to set the title on B1. The first one is blue, and that's for normal. And once we've done that, let's do the same thing again for a second button. So we're just creating a red button. Oops. Uh, 
and so I've just done a slight typo on the brackets and then I need to push this button down the screen bit. So those are our two buttons and we can just hook those up to the event using the binding use the commands and so this one, the first one is a blue command and the second one is a red command. So that's our first view written and then what we'd like to do is add a couple more views for red and blue. So let's just do that. All we'll do is we'll take the same code and we will create a red view. And we'll take some more code and create a blue view. And we'll override view to load and just set the colors in those. So view dot background color equals UI color dot red. And in the other one, it's going to be UI color dot blue. So that should be our um, app ready to roll. So let's just see if this builds. Okay, so we'll set it as the startup project. We'll choose an iPhone simulator. Um, we will choose just an iPhone to start with and run it up. And VNC is already running here, hopefully. So hopefully we can go over to our Mac and this should run up. So it's running, and what you get is you get your two buttons, blue and red. If you tap on blue, you go to the blue view and view model. If you tap on red, then you go to the red view and view model. So that's a default setup for a um, for a presenter. So you know it's a whole screen presenter, and you can see that if we take this and we change the device, so we move from an iPhone to an iPad, it'll take a second for the simulator to change over. Um, and I'll just rotate it as well. Then you can see that when we use this same app on this device, lots of samples have gone across here. Then somewhere here, and I guess it's this one, no, that's not it. Somewhere here, um, on this one, uh, let me restart it from here. Somewhere on this thing, if we redo it as an iPad app and we hit F5, then we should see that it will run up on our iPad and that we'll get exactly that same whole screen experience. Hopefully, here it comes. So it's our splash screen, and you know, it's not a pretty experience at all. We've got a blue and a red. Um, but really what we'd like to do is we would like to change this experience. So what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to put a split bar here. And I'm looking to have this UI preserved on the left. And then on the right, I'm looking to present the blue or the red. So let's start doing that. So to do that, what we're going to do is use presenter. And so let's just build that up slowly. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in setup.cs. And at the bottom here, I'm going to... Um, uh, create a split view class. Now, first of all, I'm going to create. I uh, know I'm going to create a split view class. That should be fine. Um, and this split view controller is going to inherit from UI split view controller, which is a uh, public class, just, which is a um, base class provided by iOS. And in the constructor for that, I'm going to set up um, two default splits. So let's also create an empty UI view. So you now let's just use a default UI view controller. There's no harm in doing that. So what I'll do in the constructor is I'll just set the view controller children for the split view to be um, a couple of, uh, of uh, split views. So a couple of empty view controllers. There's one, and there's a second, 
And then what I'll also do is I'll just provide a couple of mechanisms to replace them. So let's do a public uh, void uh, set left. So this is going to be the leftmost of the two view, UI view controllers. Um, and this is going to take a new UI view controller. And all this does is we call this dot view controllers equals, and we just replace it. So we do e equals new, and it's going to be a new array, and this is going to be left, comma, and this will be the old one. And then we also similarly need one for right, so let's just do it. This is a zero this time. It goes there. Oops. And so this is just our, um, our our simple way of changing which views are currently shown. There's not going to be any back action in this. It's just going to be a split view. Um, and once we've done that, then what we can do is we can set up our presenter. So our presenter, as I say, is just going to um, use the base class functionality. So we want a split presenter. And so this you could inherit if you wanted from to um, from an IMBX touch view presenter like this. Um, but there is a base class provided for you that gives you quite a lot of functionality, so I'm going to use that, which is base touch view presenter, and I'll import that. And then what I should be able to do in here is I should be able to define the constructor for it. Um, and I'm surprised that hasn't actually asked for what base needs. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass in the UI window that is needed here. And what I'm going to do in this is, just because it's what the presenter does, is I'm going to create a new split view controller. So this is going to be a private split view controller. Which I'll call SVC. And so I'll create that. And I will set the Windows um, root view controller to be that SVC. So you can see that's set. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to override the show method. So here's the show, which is what we had in our presentation. It's this method. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to interpret that view model request. So if um, the view Um, if the request that comes in, it's a better name than calling it a view, it's a request. If the request contains a view model type, and that view model type is a type of, and obviously it's going to be the first view model, but this thing that's what we want on the left, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it on the left. Otherwise, I'm going to show on the right. So obviously that's only pseudocode at the moment, and we need to replace it with real code. So let's do that. Right, so first of all, to create the view, there are a couple of ways of doing this, um, but I'm just going to use a really quick mbx.resolve, and it's the imbx view, uh, touch view creator I want to get hold of. And on that, I'd like to call create view and pass in the request. And that will create the right type of, um, of view controller for me. And I'm just going to cast that to a view controller. There are other helper methods around, but this is a really quick way of doing it. Um, and then what I can do here is to do the show on the left. I can just use SVC and call show left set left sorry with my view controller and to do the right I just call set right 
So that's my um, custom presenter. Now obviously I could have done all sorts of chaining and complicated mechanisms here to work out where I was showing my view model, but to start with I'm just doing a set left or a set right. Um, and now all I need to do is actually wire it up so that the split presenter is used. So the presenter itself is mainly created during setup. You can also pass it in the constructor if you want to use the old style. Um, but here what I'm going to do is I'm going to override the create presenter method. And if I just want the standard presenter, which is what I really want for the iPhone case, then I just leave return base dot create presenter. But if I want a custom one, um, and this is the case for iPad, then what I want to do is return a new and it's a split presenter. And obviously I need to pass window in. I don't think window is exposed from the base, so I'll have to store it on the way through. So let's do that. Private UI window underscore window. So let's just store that. There it is. And so I will just store that here. But I only want to return this in the case that we've got an iPad. So to do that, I take a look at the um, at the iPhone itself, and there's a UI device dot current device, and I think it's a user interface idiom that I want to test. And so I test that to see whether or not we're an iPad, and there you go. So I think that's my functionality finished, in fact, for this custom presenter. Just to show you what we've done, we've overridden the create presenter, we've tested whether or not it's an iPad. If it is, we return a split presenter. A split presenter has this custom logic for showing view model requests, um, and the split view controller, uh, it uses a split view controller that has these kind of pairs of um, set left and set right. So if I've done that all right, then I should be able to hit F5. Okay, builds, and then I should go over and I should wait, and hopefully in my iPad example, let's see. Then without changing any of the core functionality, so this is view specific, then hopefully what I've now got is a left hand side with blue and red. And if I hit red, I get that. If I hit blue, I get that. And that is the functionality up and running for a split view controller. So that's the very first custom presenter. Um, if I just um, come out of there and I decide that what I'd like instead is to go back to the iPhone, uh, I should be able to do it here. Um, where is my splitter? Just see where it's deployed to. I'm not sure it is this one. Okay, so this is my splitter. Um, sorry, so it was in front of my eyes all along. And if I decide to switch to an iPhone instead, then what you'll see, hopefully, is that. Um, if I run splitter on the iPhone, then I get the old functionality still. So that's exactly the same executable, exactly the same package that you put to the, um, you just put one package to the App Store, and it's got these two custom behaviors um, differently for iPhone and iPad, um, and how it presents the same view models. So I will take this further, and hopefully you'll get to see future examples where I use like tabs, I use flyouts on Windows 8, um, but that's the very first, very most simple example of using a touch, of using an iOS and using a custom view presenter. I'll put the source code up. Hopefully that was reasonable to you. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm moving forwards. Cool. Um, that was any calls 24.